Hey friends, it's Lady Ambrosia. I hope you all are doing well. Today I wanted to share with you guys something that I've kind of been working on um, here in my witchy room. So as some of you already know, the Morgan is one of my matron deities that I work with and honor and follow and, you know, pay homage to. And in the past, she has shared space with other divinities. And I really recently have felt the call to kind of create a little space just for her. So I decided to do that. So down here, this is actually just a little station I have by my like bookshelf, library situation, occult books. And this shelf actually just has like some storm water and a wood disc and my sage and my working candle and my incense and tarot decks. And then down here is a bunch of candles and then inside of that little cupboard there is all of my essential oils and whatnot. So this is just a nice little cleansing station that I have, but I had this wall space kind of above it kind of barren and I've been wanting to fill it with something anyway. And so I decided that it would be a perfect spot for a little devotional altar to the Morrigan. And so this shelf here actually used to be gold and I got this from my Grams. And she was just like, oh yeah, if you want it, take it. So I took it and I spray painted it black because black is a color that's heavily associated with the Morrigan, as well as red, sometimes purple and silver. So, but so far we're just kind of sticking to these black tones. And so I spray painted this shelf black and hung it up on the wall as my Morrigan, you know, devotional space. And I got this, this is a crow skull resin cast. I got this at, um, Pagan Pride, actually, and I thought this was perfect. Sometimes I wear it, but I thought since now that I have two, it would be perfect to kind of put one and adorn the shelf with it since ravens and crows are also heavily associated with the Morrigan. This little piece up here, this is actually a, um, a tea light holder that I got from the dollar store that used to be like silver and gold and white and it was originally I think supposed to kind of resemble angel wings but I went ahead and spray painted that black also that way it could kind of resemble the wings of you know a crow or a raven and then I just printed this picture offline which there's kind of a glare so I don't know how well you'll be able to see her but this picture of the Morgan really spoke to me a lot and so I went ahead and printed it off and put it in a little four by six frame and I like it because it kind of shows her um you know in a depiction that we have given her based off of her archetype we've kind of personified this energy of love and war and magic and sorcery and prophecy and this is her you know, human form, and this is her manifestation that we have allowed her to have. And I like that the crows and the ravens are in the background and the full moon, and I just feel like it's a perfect image for her. So, so far, that's kind of the workspace, the little devotional space that I have set up just for her. And I've been trying to just, even if it's like once a day, just come in here and light a tea light on her altar just to pay respects to her because normally in the mornings I come in here and I light my sage and my incense and I kind of set the intention for the day and that's kind of something that's a really simple way just to kind of keep up with my practice on a daily basis just kind of setting the intention for the day so I'm going to try to work on lighting this tea light on her devotional also as part of my daily practice, being a priestess of the Morrigan, being a maiden of the Morrigan, um, and having her as one of my matrons, I really want to just work on kind of paying more homage to her and also working with her in my life. Another thing that I did get for the space, but it isn't finished yet, also in line with like angel memorabilia, I picked this up from the dollar store, which this is, it's like a white and pink, it's real tacky this like angel figure and I'm going to spray paint her black and I'm going to use her as like a statue, so to speak for the Morgan, which I have this statue of the Morgan, which I got this off Amazon. I believe they have like a whole Celtic collection and I really like this, but she's not really going to fit too well up there and I'd be worried about her falling and breaking, but this is a really awesome piece. But instead I decided to use this angel figurine. And um, 
In no way am I necessarily Abrahamic. However, I do appreciate some Abrahamic iconography. <coughs> and I think that by spray painting this black, instead of her being an angel, it'll kind of represent the Morgan's um, shape-shifting side with the wings. Kind of the same thing I did with the angel wing tea light holder, spray painting it black so it can resemble the wings of a crow. And this can be, you know, Morgan in her shape-shifting form. So she's probably just going to sit up there once this is all done. And I think what I'm going to do is probably paint her black and then maybe add a little bit of red to the wings on the statue. And then I'm also planning on adding a little bit of red to the tips of the feathers on the wings here. So that is just a quick little update on some stuff that I've been working on. I've been so crazy busy with work and with my business. So all good things. I'm not complaining about the prosperity, so to speak. Um, the circle has kept me really busy. And then of course, family stuff. And so I hope all of you guys are doing well. And yeah, I just wanted to share my little new update as in my uh, witchy room here. So Blessed be to you all and uh, have a great day, evening, whatever it is when you're watching this. And until next time, y'all, bye.